Hey everyone, my name is Donald, and in this video we're going to show you how to add floating social media icons to the left or the right hand side of your website using Pro Theme. So right now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to Pro and I'm going to launch this. We're going to navigate to the header builder. I'm going to choose on the pages header that I currently have now. So right now we have a top header, which you can see up here. I want to go ahead and add it over here to the left hand side. So it's right up against the window. You can see that we already have a floating button down here for support. And so we're going to use the same theory that we did for that. So let's go ahead and add a left bar, add a container, and then let's go ahead and add our social media icons. So right here, I'm going to just style one just so it's easier. Interaction. Take off this border. Take off my box shadow. And right now, I'm just going to style it a little bit just so it's easier on the eyes. All right. So right now, I've got this social media button right here. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to a different icon. And I want to go ahead and duplicate this three. There you go. So I have three of them. And I want to go ahead and change the icons to YouTube. And let's change this one to Instagram. And I'm gonna go ahead and make one more just for Twitter. Now you can style each of these to have the respective colors for the actual, um, for the social media platform it is. It's up to you guys if you wanna do that. I wanted to stick with this branding and I may change them so they're inverted, so they're blue instead of gold. So right now we wanna go ahead and make it so that this is in the center of the screen. So we're gonna to go to our bar settings on the vertical, let's click center. So they're right there in the center of the screen. So we can see that if we drop down, they'll always be in the center of the screen. Okay. So let's go ahead and position them so they're all the way up against the side. So for this, we're gonna go back into our bar settings and we're gonna take the width and knock this down to zero. Okay, so now we have half of our icon showing. We're gonna go back to layout. We're gonna go to this container and we're going to take and unlink the margin and we're going to do the left side. I'm sorry, the right side. We're going to do this as a negative margin. So we're just going to drag this over until it looks good, which is right there. All right. So maybe I want to do a, a couple pixels instead. So 47, 46. So 45 pixels is what looks good for me. So there's no gap. So we have these four social media icons that let's go ahead and hide the builder that when I scroll, they follow along with you, which is great. You can also use buttons here. So if you want to show like, like us on Facebook, you know, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram and tweet us, you can do that. So you can use buttons instead of actual social icons. It's completely up to you. So right now we want to make it so that this is not shown on mobile. So to do that, we're going to go back to our bar settings, click on the inspector, go to customize. And we want to hide this on mobile on the smallest device. And I want to hide it on the one side, one step up for the tablet, just because. So now if we preview it, we see that it hides on the 767 and smaller. So we have it just like that. So now you, your customers can always see your, your social media and they'll always be able to access that on any of your pages. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So that's how we go ahead and add floating social media icons to the side of your website using the pro builder and not installing any additional plugins or uh, loading up your website with more code. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you with the next one.